And how can people focus on impact if there's so much craziness going on in the world or they feel like they haven't got their own things together in, in their own life? You know, I think today, you know, here in 2023, it's more disorientating than ever. I mean, you look at the headlines every day and it's pretty scary and that can sort of destabilize your sense of confidence in the future. You hear talk of inflation and a recession, all these different things. And that can be sort of debilitating. But I think as an entrepreneur, we all sort of, we have selectively chosen to have a positive mindset, to get up every day, to build a, a business with our bare hands. And so when you think about the reality of the, of the marketplace that we're in, consider this. Every day, your employees, your customers, your investors are sitting there going, wow, our future looks pretty pretty rotten in some ways. And the market forces are now rewarding companies that you know are doing good. People want to buy for, work, buy from, work for, and invest in companies that are course correcting the future. Mm. And so it's not sort of Pollyanna, hey, let's go and make the future a better place. It's like, how do we leverage today's market forces so that we can scale our impact in ways that will build our business? And it's even, you know, it's really fulfilling on a personal level at the same time. Mm. Who are some examples of companies that are doing it really well at the moment? There's many companies. Some you know, some that you don't know. I mean, I think there are startups, for example, like the Timberlands and the Virgins of the world that have now become household names that really have sort of built their brand on the strength of their impact on the environment, whatever it might be. There are new startups today, for example, like Air Company in New York, which is actually, oddly enough, one of the co-founders is an Australian, but they're pulling carbon out of the air and making award-winning vodka and perfume and now carbon-neutral jet fuel, which major American airlines are now coming on board with. And that's really looking at this marketplace um, as you know, opportunities in disguise. And then there are very, very large corporations out there, the Unilevers of the world and on the, that are publicly traded companies or the Patagonias of the world that are privately held that really have demonstrated for a long time that you can commit to doing good and build a, you know, a rapidly growing business. So it really applies to all different levels of business. But I will say one thing, all of us as entrepreneurs, and I've been one for 13 years myself, you've got to ask yourself, why are you in business? Is it just to make money? you know, for any sake, at the cost of anything? Or do you actually want to build a business that's going to give you fulfillment on the inside? And I think, you know, as a dad, as well as being an entrepreneur, I look at it and my daughter's future and I say, hey, I would actually love to be part of a business that is healthy, it gives me an income, it provides for my future, but I'm also being responsible to that future as well, not only in my own interest, but in the interest of my family and others.